Hello and welcome to this tutorial series. In this tutorial series I want to show you how you start working with the Unreal Engine. This tutorial series is in first place for the beginners but also for advanced people who want to learn some new things. When you first time launch the Unreal Engine you will see this Unreal Project Browser. Here you can decide which kind of project you want to create. For this you have different templates. We will take a look on each template in further episodes. For the begin we will start up with this project here, the Unreal Engine Hour of Code. This is from Epic Games itself and it's also a free project. The project was created to start with the Unreal Engine, so exactly for our case. It was said that it's only supported for Unreal Engine 4.25 and 4.26, but it's more like a recommendation, not a limitation. As you can see, I personally use the Unreal Engine 5.4.4 and I'm still able to run this project here. That's because Unreal Engine 4 and 5 are very, very similar to each other and in many cases you are able to run your Unreal Engine 4 projects in Unreal Engine 5. Let's go into the project. Inside our project we have different windows, like this viewport, the outliner and the place actors. And so many more as you can see when we go to the Windows tab. Let's start up with the viewport. When you hold the right mouse button you can look around, when you press WASD, you can move around inside the level. This is also working for the arrow keys, like that. Also, we have this perspective tab where we can change the orientation for top or bottom, left, right, front or back. But let's stick to the perspective, so the classic one where we have a 3D view on our current level. Also, as I said, we have the Outliner tab, where we can see every object inside our current level. For the start, we have the Player Start. If you moved away from the Player Start, you can just double click on it and you go back to the object. This is also working for every object inside the level, so let's select this cloud for example, double click and you can see this cloud here. Let's move back to our Player Start. So the player start is of course representing our start of the player. This means when we press play, we start the game and we have already a character. We can look around with the mouse and we can move around with WASD. The classic third person template, which is already included. When we press escape, we go back to our viewport here and can still move around. Let's take a look on the Place Actors tab where we can place some basic actors like lights or basic shapes, cinematic, etc. But for the moment we just want to open another window. So let's go to the Window, Content Browser and open up the Content Browser. As you can see we have a folder view now on our project. In my case I would say the scaling of the windows are very big, so I want it smaller. For this you can press Ctrl Shift W and now you can adjust the application scale. In my case I prefer the 0.9. So now it's much better to take a look on the windows here as you can see, can move around. Also you are able to move every window like you want. We can place it down here or up here. So you can adjust it like ever you want. The good thing about this project is that we learn the Unreal Engine by just playing the game. So for the begin we just hit play. We can move around and let's say we want to go to the other side. So let's go to this platform. We fall down. That's the first lesson. So we just select this platform here, go to Window, Details and open up the Details tab. Now we can see all the details of this selected object. So for the begin we have the transform, which means the location, rotation and the scale. We have the x, epsilon and z axis, where we can grab it and move it around for the location. When we press space, we switch around as you can see to the rotation. So now we can rotate it. Also we are able to set the value by just clicking it and Hit it to zero for example, we press space again, we can change the scale, so we can scale it up. But let's keep it with Ctrl Z to the default one. Also we have the static mesh, so the object we can see, we have the material, 
we have the physics, which means the object will fall down, and we have the collision. So, of course, we would change it, but it's already on the default tab, so it should have collision. So we have another problem. Let's go to the static mesh and press this button here, which goes to the content browser. So now we have the view of this object here in the side, the folder. And when we hover our mouse over the object, you can see the collision primes are zero, which means this object has no collision. We open it up in the window here by double clicking, and then we have the convex decomposition. Let's just apply it. Of course, since this is a simple object, this will work. When we have a complex object, this will not work with this kind of collision. You have to do it in another 3D program to fix the collision. So we hit save and close this object. When we now hover about it, we can see we have a collision prism of one, which is fine. So let's close the details window and hit play again. Now we are able to step on this platform but we want to go to the other side. So the next lesson is how to duplicate objects. So we just select it, hold the Alt key and just pull it. As you can see, now we duplicate the object. Like that. So another player should be able to jump over these platforms. We hit play and let's jump with space over this platforms here. Great, we done it. But let's say we are not able to jump over the platforms. Let's say we fail like that. So now the player would be stuck. We have to fix this problem. To fix this problem, we need something that brings the player back to the start. For this, we go to the place actors, select the volumes, and you can see we have the kill zone volume which means it will set the player back to the player start. So we just grab it and pull it inside the world. As we learned, we can move it with the axis here down to the floor. When we press space, we can set the scale. So we just scale it like that to the walls. And now we have to bring it to the end of the floor here. For this, let's change the perspective. When we go to the top view, we can't see anything really. So let's change the wireframe to lit. When we now zoom in with the mouse wheel, we can see our object here. So let's just press space again and scale it to the end of the floor like that. Let's see. So let's go back to our perspective. Great. And then we hit just play again. And we now jump over the platforms and let's say we fail here. We go back to the player start. So let's try it again. We jump over these platforms here and reach the end. Great. In the next episode, we will go to the other side of this platforms here. We will have a checkpoint there where we can save our current level. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you have any questions, please let me know and yeah, goodbye.